And good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartelia. Protesters were loud. Their message very clear. They wanted a controversial book screening policy voted down in Bucks County tonight. But late this evening, the Central Bucks School Board passed it 6 to 3. Supporters say it's to protect students, while others call it a book ban. Eyewitness News reporter Kerry Corrado was at tonight's meeting. And Kerry, what was the reaction tonight as people on both sides left? Good evening. Yuki, good evening. Well, that's right. Parents, they were crammed inside the building, voicing their opinions all night long. Some agree with the policy, others not so much. Many left tonight feeling upset and defeated. It was a packed house as the Central Bucks School Board voted in favor to change its book policy. Motion carries. While some were thrilled it passed, others were angry. The school board introduced this controversial policy back in April. This now means the district will review and screen which books students can read. And speaking of majorities, despite the turnout of people opposing the library policy, please know most CBSD parents are appreciative of you all looking out for their children and protecting them. Other CB parents and teachers say the new policy is a book ban that promotes a censorship on ideas and restricts students the right to learn. Removing the resources that empower a child to learn and ask questions removes a critical function of education. Before the school board meeting, those against the policy held a rally out front. They chanted, held signs, and talked about how books impacted their lives and how students should be able to choose. Parents can control what their own children read, but they do not have the right to restrict, restrict what is available to other people. As hard as they fought, many felt their voices were not heard. And they just voted it in. So that says they're not hearing our voices, they don't care what we think, they don't um, trust the professionals. The superintendent says he will work with the district to come up with a plan moving forward when it, when it comes to screening those books. We're live tonight, Carrie Corrado, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Carrie, thank you for that. Look at